So you're starting an online business. That's phenomenal. There's so much opportunity out there right now. But as you look to get everything set up, you might realize there's all these different softwares you need. You need to integrate them together. And there's a cost for each one where you could be spending hundreds of dollars before you even have your first sale. So imagine you're creating an online course. You need the course software to host all the materials. Students can log in, review the materials. You need a sales page software to be able to sell the course. You need email marketing software so you can reach out to your students. You also might want a membership site so the students can speak with each other as well as communicate better with you. And for any online business, you wanna grow your email list. So you also need on top of the email marketing software, landing page software. So each of those have their individual costs, connect them all together. There's a much easier way to do this and a much cheaper way. So that's where system.io comes in, the sponsor of today's video. So system.io is an all-in-one platform that does everything I just talked about and more and they have a free plan. So you can get started with your online business without paying anything for software. So we're gonna get into all the benefits to system.io. I'll run you through the pricing so you can see everything you can do with the free plan and how economical all the other plans are. So email marketing software, landing pages, sales pages, membership site, courses. Am I forgetting something? There's a lot. And you can get started for free. So you can run your entire online business and not pay anything for software. So what we're gonna do in today's video is set up an entire sales funnel for selling an online course. If you're interested in following along with this tutorial, you can sign up for system.io down below in the description. This is our affiliate link. So we could earn a commission if you use our link and later upgrade to a paid plan with system.io. With that said, why don't we hop on the computer and get started. Okay, so here we are at the homepage of system.io. Before we start building our funnel, I wanna just show you the pricing really quick. So what you can see here, everything you can do with the free plan. So 2000 contacts, as many emails as you want, three funnels, 10 steps for the funnel. You can have a blog, unlimited blog post, a membership site. This is really big, the unlimited file storage. So you can create your entire course, upload videos, and not pay anything. You can have as many members as you want for your membership site. And here you have one automation rule, workflow, tag, email campaign, um, one click upsells. And if we continue to scroll down further, you have deadline funnels and you can integrate Stripe and PayPal. So the great thing with this free plan is there's no additional fees or anything for using a free plan. You just pay whatever fees it would be for PayPal and Stripe. There's no other cost for selling with this platform. And then scrolling down further, you get a custom domain. So this is another big selling point is there's very, very few platforms that are free that allow you to connect a custom domain. So as you can see from the free plan and all things such as workflows and tags that you can just have one, this free plan is set up so that you can get your business up and running, have one product and just knock it out of the park with that. And then when you're making a bunch of money from that, then you could upgrade to one of the paid plans. So what you can see here is the paid plans are also not that expensive. So the startup plan, you could have 10 funnels, you can have five membership sites, a bunch of automations and workflows and things like that. So you could sell a lot of products with just this plan. And it's only going to cost you $27 a month or save 30% and pay $228 for the entire year. They have a webinar plan and a larger enterprise plan. So that's basically the pricing and everything you can do for free. Now, if you're on the homepage or here, you can click on get started for free. On the homepage, you just enter your email address, confirm your email, and then you can set up your account. I obviously already did that. And so I'll just log in. The dashboard looks something like this. So we're gonna create an online course today. So to create the sales funnel, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the course, not all the materials for it. Don't remember, you don't have to do all that yet. Make sure people wanna purchase it, then actually go and create all the course materials. We talk about this more in our launching online course video that I'll link to up above right here. But we'll create the welcome module and that the course exists. Then we'll create the emails that would be sent when someone purchases the course. Then we're gonna create the sales page to sell the course. So let's get going. So to create a course, what you're gonna do is hover over a product and you can see here all the things that you could create, physical products, coupon orders, transactions, subscriptions. You can set up your affiliate program, courses, bundles, et cetera. So click on courses, then add a new course. And so here you can choose what domain do you want it on. So one of the things I mentioned before of having a custom domain, so I set up testing.thefigco.com as our custom domain for this tutorial. And then the name of the course. So let's do YouTube course. YouTube course test is the course. And then give it a name, so YouTube course test. Obviously you can put the instructor name, the font, and a whole bunch of other things right here. And then so what you could do is if you had already created the sales page, you could link the sales page to the course right here. We're doing it the other way around where we create the course and then when the sales page is ready, we link the course as what we're selling. And so create this course. Okay, so the first thing you do is add a module. 
And so this is just the welcome module. So when someone purchases, they have all the information they need of, hey, this is all coming out really soon. And then there's two different templates you can have for the courses. This is with an image and text, and this is with a video and text. We're gonna use the video option today. So this is basically the editor that you're gonna have for sales pages, landing pages, and the course lectures. And so what you're gonna see here, we have a video, the text, additional text, images, and then obviously you could create, these would could be links to other resources. So one of the great things here with the unlimited uploads is you don't have to host your video, say on YouTube, you can do it right within system.io. So to do that, you'd click on the settings dial, and then instead of YouTube here, you would change it to upload file and then click on upload. So then you could upload it right here. I already uploaded, I think the same video a couple times getting ready for this tutorial. So we could just insert that video and we're good to go. With anything, you can adjust kind of the margin, padding, things like that. And then let's continue to move on. So, so you can obviously edit the text. You could, you know, you can put it, take the bold off, make it italic, underline it, normal things that you could do. Change the color. And then, so if there's any other things that you want to add to the content, you can also just do that here. So you could add, here's kind of a four column setup. If there's something that you don't want, you can just go through and delete it like so. I mean, making the edits here, if you want to add another video, audio, carousel, there, there's a bunch of options here. So if this were the welcome module, hey, new material coming soon, we're pretty much good to go. And then click with anything you're going to see is kind of save, save changes up here. And then to go back to the previous screen, hit exit. One of the things you can do if the material is not ready yet, but you know the modules and lessons, you could create all of that right now and then just have them all empty. And then when stuff's available, go and fill in, upload the videos, add the text and things like that. But I think we're good for now. So course is created, someone pays for it. They have kind of the first lesson saying coming soon. Then the next thing to work on is the email sequence that someone will receive once they purchase the course. So that's what we're gonna do now. So to do that, we wanna create a campaign. So this is where you actually write the emails to be sent. So we can click on create, purchase YouTube sequence, save campaign. Okay, and then to create emails, click into the campaign. And then up here, you click on add an email, put your name, and then there's two different editors, the visual one or the classic editor. Generally, we send emails that are just text emails if, as if you and I were, were sending emails back and forth to each other. Create this email. And then so what you can do here is you can add, say, the first name using this right here. Welcome to the course. Okay, so say this was the first email. Obviously, if I wanted to add links, add pictures, you can do all that, but that's not the point of today's video. So if this was good to go, then just click on save and publish. Then we need to do is say how long after someone is added to this campaign, do you want to send this? So it could be five hours later, it could be five days later. If it is immediate, then you just put in zero right here and then click on publish. So as soon as someone is added to this campaign, send welcome email. Then we maybe want to send them another email a day later with, so the course materials aren't ready yet. Maybe we want to send them some other resources that they can go through before the course content's ready. Okay, some resources to get you started, classic editor, create. And then, so for example, if you wanted to go through and add kind of a bulleted list, you could say, so here is A, here is B, and here is C that you're getting for kind of free resources. Um, best, check. Okay, and then so if we're done with this one, click again on save and publish. And then so this one we would want to send after the first email. So maybe we would send this one day or two days later. So let's say one day, and then so then click on after this other email. So send email one, 24 hours later, send email to publish. Okay, so we have the campaign ready. Now we just need something to kick off the campaign. And so we can do that with an automations and workflows. So here, if we just click on create and say, flow one, and then click on the workflow. So this is a visual editor like you see with almost any other email marketing software. So the first thing you need to start a workflow is a trigger. So within this, you could have someone added or removed a tag, subscribe to a form. So this could be, say, on a landing page. They completed another campaign, registered for a webinar. The one that we want is enrolled in a course. And so which course? The YouTube test course. So someone enrolled in that. Then what you can do, the next step would be an action. So the action would be to subscribe to a campaign. Subscribe to which campaign? The purchase YouTube sequence. Create and we're good. So we can exit out of this. 
and you can see it was paused. So we want to do here is activate. Okay, so workflow one is ready to go as soon as we have purchases for the course. So now the next step is setting up the sales funnel. So we have here is YouTube test funnel. And then which domain do we want? Let's use the testing.thefitco.com. And then you have four options here. So build an audience is for landing pages. We'll take a look at that at the end of the video. Sell is what we're gonna do right now. Custom is you can build everything as, as you like from scratch or run an evergreen webinar. So let's click on sell. What currency you want, US dollar works for me, and then create. So what you get right off the bat is just an order form and a thank you page. The order form doesn't have a ton of information about what you're purchasing in most cases. So you can see it looks kind of something like this. So what we're gonna want is a sales page. And then if someone clicks on purchase, then they arrive to the order form. So to do that, you just need to click on create step, give it a name, sales page, YouTube, and what type of page. So you have a bunch of options here. Squeeze page is the same as a landing page, forms, pop-up form, sales page. And then you can see down here, you can create more complicated funnels with upsells and downsells, but we're not gonna look at that today. We just need to add the sales page. Okay, so again, there's a bunch of options here. Let's just choose the first one. Then so give it a URL, YouTube course, sales page, and then let's edit it. One thing I forgot to do is make this the first step in the process. We'll get that when we finish this. Okay, so for example, this, we say, hey, this section, don't really need that. Again, really easy to edit everything. How to get leads and sales from YouTube. Okay, again, with this video, we could upload a video link to something else that we have. The one thing here is if you're creating multiple step funnels with any of these buttons that would take someone to the next step. So, you know, to make a purchase, take them to the checkout page. What you wanna do here is you wanna make sure that the URL says next step URL. That means it'll take it to the next step in the funnel. The one thing we would wanna do here, so you can, Obviously make a bunch of adjustments if you want left or right align. It's centered right now. Purchase YouTube core. Okay, so we could put that right there. Again, if one of these, we want to delete sections, edit all this. This again, we want to change to centered. Okay, and this one says next step URL. So the, the thing you want to keep in mind here for creating a sales page is you want to really sell the vision. What is the result that someone's going to get by purchasing, say, this course? What is the situation they're in right now? What are the problems they're facing? What are the objections they may have? So if you don't work through the objections they have, they're not gonna purchase. Also, you wanna think about testimonials. Do you have other clients that can sell for you? Generally, your customers, if you have happy customers, can do a better job convincing someone than you could do yourself. So as you can see, kind of some of the things you would want, you'd wanna go through and add to the sales page. So all these work really similarly. So this could be, hey, what's included in the course? You know, this could be a lot of times you add freebies. So you kind of offer stacking as Russell Brunson would say. So you say, hey, you're buying our YouTube course, but we have our video editing course and our thumbnail course and our this course, it's all included for free. And then, like I mentioned before, the customer stories, use them, you know, anywhere that you can. Again, we would update. So get immediate access could still work as well. Change the price and everything else. So that's basically how you can go through and edit the sales page. Once you're done, again, click save changes and go to exit. So as I mentioned earlier, you wanna bring this up to the first step, not the last step. So when someone clicks on the next step URL, it's gonna take them to the order form. I forgot to click on save when I made changes here and started editing the sales page. So it's giving me numbers again, as, as opposed to what I had earlier. So you have YouTube test course, and then click on save here before you either edit this page or move on to the order form like we're gonna do right now. And then we're good with that. Let's go to the order form. Then again, just choose one of these. Let's see, so here, oops. So what you can see with this setup, what you wanna do is, so you have the URL, is there affiliate commissions? Resources is you tell people what are they actually purchasing when they use this order form. You would go to course, YouTube course, and then you have an option to give them full access or to drip content. So if you wanna give them the course access over a couple weeks or days, you could choose this or full access is what we'll use now. The pricing plans is where you put in the different pricing options, but we need to add the integrations for Stripe or PayPal first. Then you can add different coupons if you have you know, discounts that you want to give away. Good with that, then click on save. And then let's actually edit the page. So this is pretty simple. You can just go through here. Obviously you'd wanna update all this information. We'd say, you know, YouTube course, 
and then what's included. So this is just a really quick summary. Obviously the rest of it would be in much more detail on the sales page. So the most important things with YouTube, create your channel, grow your channel, monetize your channel, let's say, to make some small edits here. So for example, in the US, you wouldn't say family name, usually it would be last name. So wanna make sure this says last name and then edits, there we go. And then this individual or company, if you don't care about that, you can just delete this field right here. And then here's where the different payment methods and pricing options would all come in, but you would create that on the earlier page. Again, if you need to add any other sections here. So if you wanted to add an order bump, so if you wanted to have some other offer, someone's purchasing our YouTube course and we have our premium video editing course or, or something like that, we could add here as an order bump. If this was good, again, just click on save changes and then go back. Then the last step for the sales funnel is choosing the thank you page. And so here, so YouTube, thanks. That's good, save, and then let's go and edit it. So here, you, let's get rid of that. Let's add our logo, which I think I already uploaded. Okay, thanks for your order. Here's a summary. You know, you're gonna receive everything by email. Hey, we have a Facebook group. One of the things to keep in mind here, this is where you would want to have your pixel or basically to tell whatever ads you're using that, hey, this is a purchase. So to add that, if you go all the way down, or if you click on, sorry, if you click on settings and then go all the way down, you can edit the code, the header code or footer code right here if this, if you're using some type of tracking software or running ads. If you're good with the thank you page, click on save. So that's a sales funnel for selling an online course. If you're looking to grow your email list, I'll show you really, really quickly how to set up a landing page. There's a few things that I wanted to point out here. So again, you would just click on funnels and then you would click on create. And then so YouTube freebie, which URL, build an audience. Okay, so for this one, let's just choose the first option. There's just one really quick thing. All the editing for this is exactly the same as all the other pages we looked at earlier. Uh, squeeze page, same thing as landing page, to freebie. All right, so save that, and then let's edit this. So just the one quick thing, all the editing of this page would be the same as the other ones. The one thing that took me a second to figure out was if you wanted to ask for something more than an email. So you could just essentially duplicate this and then duplicate this and then move one of these up one spot. And then basically you would just edit the text. So say first name, and then let's edit this. And then instead of input type, we have first name. And so there, now this form goes from just asking for email to first name and the email address. And then again, you can just go through and edit this like any of the other pages. If you wanted to pop up, like if someone was exiting and say, hey, sign up before you leave, you can add those. If we're good at that, just click on save changes. Again, choose a thank you page here. If you're running ads to this and you wanna track leads or signups, don't forget to include the, the pixel code on the thank you page. So what do you think? Were you able to follow along and create your funnel using system.io? Honestly, it's really, really easy. If you wanna see other tutorials on how to use the platform, let us know down below in the comment section. Also, if you haven't signed up yet for system.io, down in the description, you can sign up using our affiliate link. If you wanna learn more about growing your business online, we have a bunch of videos to help you with that. I'll link to the playlist right here. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye-bye.